Right, so today I'm with, uh, am I right, saying a double Olympic medalist? Yeah. Jazz Carlin. Um, so you've driven a motorhome before. Yeah. Not a caravan. Yeah. So today we've got a, a Bailey Discovery D42 behind us on a Ford Cougar and it's just to so Jess can work out where the caravan tracks. It's only going to be in a half hour lesson, just to sort of demystify the process a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, out a bit more. Perfect. Yeah. Ideal. You're about the same height as me when we sat down, aren't we? Yeah. yeah it should be right for you. Yeah. Right, see how we do. So the plan is I've already sussed out a route. Um, I have a terrible sense of direction. It's the, route, it's the only route into Bristol that I know. Okay. And I've worked out a good place where we can swap over. So if I go first, you can see what I'm going to do, where mm -hmm. I'm positioning traffic, going around bends and that sort of thing. And then uh, Perfect. we'll give you a go. Right mirror, as we go up here, quite a tight turn. Can you see where the car? Yeah. So it's quite a short one. So I haven't got to worry too much. It's always tricky around here, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit. So it feels like you over exaggerate the. Well, I think that that's a good way of explaining it. If you just over exaggerate everything. Um, sort of the, the way you would turn in, so if you're turning right, just over exaggerate it right. Yeah. Same with left. Again, if you're pulling forward, just make sure you can see when you're turning, you know, the mirror at the back of the caravan. So, um, I, I think for a lot of people, it's probably sort of fear of fear itself, but it's, it's nothing, it's nothing technical. It's, you know, this will be a half hour taster, and I'm sure after that, you'll absolutely nail it. <laughs> I mean, don't do what I did. Um, when I first bought one, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, um, I had no experience, no lessons, decided to pick one up on a whim and have a 200 mile round trip to Dartmoor in winter. Um, strangely enough, that's not the way to do it. So <laughs> I, I think, you know, ha have some experience, give it a go. Um, even if you can't go out with someone, people like the Caravan and Motorhome Club will do a towing course anyway. Yeah. Um, so it's money well spent and certainly something I wish I'd done. Mm. It, it sounds very basic, but if uh, as long as you look up, see what's going on ahead of you, yeah. then you know you can you can plan ahead and, and, and you know and things work out really well. Now I've pulled in here because this will be a good test for you to try and get out. Now, I purposely made it a bit tricky. Throw me in. So, yeah, this, this will be because we've got the car in front. Yeah. So, we'll have to pull out quite wide. Otherwise, if we just went forward, chance of the caravan would get close to that car. So, when we come out, we'll move right over into that lane, quite a tight lock, and then before we come back. So, a really exaggerated turn. So, out. So, out. But we'll take it nice and yeah. slow. This isn't busy here. <laughs> So ideally about a third of the car in the mirror and the rest of the caravan? Maybe a little bit more then. Okay, well outwards, in. in. Outwards, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, take time. All we can do is move right out into the right hand side and then yeah. an exaggerated turn to the left. Okay. But we'll keep an eye on this mirror. Keep an eye on that one. Yeah. As in what it's doing? Yeah, just so we can see exactly where the car in front is in relation to the caravan. But yeah, you can, yeah, it, it won't come into play just yet. That's it. Now a bit more, 
keep it straight so you are right up to that line over here yeah that's it and now we start to turn left slowly exaggerated turn and you can see yeah perfect and then right around the roundabout and back up the way we've come This is good practice as well as roundabout because you'll be able to see exactly where the caravan's tracking in relation to the car. Yeah. But weight wise in this, you can't feel. No, not much difference. No. Am I going left? Uh, first exit, yeah. And then we're straight over at the next roundabout. I feel like I'm doing my driving test again. I know, it's a bit like that, <laughs> isn't it? Um, so as we're following the white lines, especially here, again, it's a good point just to check your mirrors and you can see how tight you can turn, yeah. um, how much room you, it's just a, well, you know, a bit of a learning curve. Yeah. So what, what are your first thoughts on, on towing the caravan? Yeah. Is that because it's a car and more familiar? Is that yeah, because of the width? So. Or? Okay. I think it feels a bit heavier when you're driving a motor. Yeah, yeah. But considering we're going through Bristol in the traffic and the police cars had to come through, um, you know, we're next to a bus lane. I think you're doing incredibly well. <laughs> Keep an eye on the mirror and make sure you're, you're out enough yeah. from parked cars. Uh, and then the Bailey turning just up here, wherever that is. I think it might be the first one. So hang on, is it this one? Yeah, this one in here. And then straight up through. They do like caravans with sensors, you know, like cars. They can get a reversing camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then straight up to the top. Do you know, I had a feeling that you would nail this. Because, um, uh, you know, if, if you're preparing for the Olympics, and then just hang on, no, sorry, that one, yeah. Um, then towing a caravan for the first time isn't going to seem that daunting, really, is it? Oh, well, I don't know, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> They've done really so well. No, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I've seen some people who've been driving for years that, that wouldn't want to tow around Bristol and come into a factory. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. Bang up. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Um, so, so first three words that spring to mind, H having towed the Discovery round pretty much the centre of Bristol. I feel a lot more relaxed than okay. when I've, I was a bit like thinking, oh, something new, I've never tried it before. Yeah. Um, so actually really smooth, relaxed, and I enjoyed it. Perfect, well done. Yeah, thank you very much.